Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro Enter the Dragonfly Blind. On the last episode, we headed off to Monkey Monastery, the first level in the eastern side that we've been able to go to. Uh, headed up way up into the mountains where it was full of ice and full of snow and a bunch of monkey monks as they told us that we had to get, we had to, get to the end because the Riptox were annoying them and they couldn't fight back because they were peaceful. They did have snowball cannons, which we used to destroy a bunch of frozen ice that was everywhere. And we also ran into Bartholomew, who I learned after recording was Bentley's younger brother in that one Bentley episode that we had. But, uh, yeah, his task was to rescue all the yetis which were around, which there were way more yetis than monkeys. It was weird that there was a monkey that at the front, whatever. We found, all, we found most of the dragonflies, and we found all of the gems, so that's good. But we have enough to go to the next level now, Honey Marsh, which is right in front of us. And uh, I'm curious to see how this level looks, uh, just based on what's around us right now. We do have a bunch of giant flowers and uh, uh, some gooey, gooey honey. <laughs> we have, uh, let's see, I think we're at 60% now. Yes, we are. So, Honey Marsh, we're missing all of the gems because we have yet to go inside it. And, uh... Has 800 gems and 10 dragonflies. I guess we'll see how this goes. Just based on the fact that there's only nine levels and we're going to be doing a lot of, or like, we're going to be adding like 85% of Honey Marsh to our total. I think we're going to jump into the 70s at this point. <laughs> so, let's see. Crocodile Farmer. We did talk to you before. You kind of told us your stuff in a glitch. Well, that should do it, Spyro. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the Honey Marsh Rapids. There was that one... I'm think He said Honey Marsh Rapids. I'm thinking of that one uh, Speedway level that we had where it was just a bunch of honey. Was it literally called Honey Speedway? I don't remember what it was. It was in three, though. Ooh, Thunderclouds. And lightning? Mmm. We, we did say that the Monkey Monastery looked foreboding in the sky. And then we went to the actual level and didn't seem all that bad. You know what? I don't know. I don't remember if there was any, like off in the distance uh, weather patterns in the original trilogy because it was mostly just like a painted background. So I think Thunderclown is kind of nice. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, what's, what's the deal here, Mr. Gator friend? Okay, oh, I didn't move. Welcome to Honey Marsh, Spyro. Them Riptock critters have messed this here place up, but good. <laughs> I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear? So they didn't help you, you'd keep them? That seems rude. Okay, thank God. I thought these I thought these bees would like start attacking me. I'm going to take a guess. Look at the cute little pigs. It, why did it cry like that? Why is the beef bigger than it? Or ham? I'm going to I'm going to assume that the uh the honey is deadly. Let me see. It sure is. So it's basically lava. Got a two for one. Is, does that guy have a ray gun or is it a water gun? I hope it's water. Please be water. It'd be funnier if it's water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a super soaker. I mean, we could see him. Sh we could see one of them shoot just to see. Double check. We also need to get sparks back up, back up to yellow. I guess that platform in the middle of that honey was to show us that honey bad. 
I mean, if it's honey's gooey, if it was, if there was like a big pool of honey, I, I don't know what hit me. <laughs> I know it was him. I don't know what it was though. Maybe a super soaker isn't a super soaker. It just looks like one. All right, I'm hearing I'm hearing a uh, a banjo now. Who's playing a banjo? Okay, that rip talk is. What? I I killed the poor bee. I feel like that was. That's a, that goes against what this level's for. I'm supposed to be saving the honey. Who almost jumped straight into it. Okay, that time I did. I feel like it's gonna be very easy for me to get trapped. I died. I died. I forgot that I I forgot I lost sparks when uh I jumped in the honey there. Oh great. Oh, good. Good thing I good thing I actually went backwards. That would have bugged me. Okay, so the super soakers are lasers, like we said the first time. Good to know. Good to know they have they're like sniper rounds too. All right, that's turned off, I guess. I'm gonna. I feel like I'm, I have way more deaths in me here. We've been we've been coasting pretty nicely, but usually there's like one or two levels in Spyro that are like stupid difficult. It's usually the levels that have like uh, what are these bees doing? Have like pits I can fall in. I'm glad that missed. All right, that's two of those machines down. I don't know what their plans were. We're already at the third? Boy, this level seems a lot shorter than, uh, a lot shorter than Monkey Monastery was. Okay, what happened there? Oh, so I hear a thief. If they can start like having that th that lightning be like an actual threat, that'd be kind of nice. It's getting loud. What is he holding? What are you holding there? Wait, 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 wait! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with other stuff first. The thief can wait. Why was that? Why was that basket fireproof? You know what? Let's not bother. Oh, look at the cute pigs. Why are they why Why are they making like all the enemies look cute? They had the they had the they had the chickens, they had the they had the fodder in the overworld. They had the mammoths from last episode. They're just trying to make me feel bad, and it's working. And I hate it. There seems to be a level around here. All right. I guess we'll find out what that does later. Okay, he can just run through the, uh, he gets to run through the, the honey with no problems. Must be his boots. Must have like non-stick boots. This level gets a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, hello there. Hey, it's Suzuki. I, I love how unprepared I was to actually get that one. I just didn't know it was there. What a surprise. Just a row of gems here. The this thief's colors are kind of cool. Alternating red and yellow. Bingham stand out against all the green here. 
I was just about to ask if Spyro's ever climbed a pole before. I don't think he can. He doesn't have thumbs. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of these guys first. I, I know that the, uh, the thief is not even coming close to this area, but... I just want it clear. Who? Ooh, there's an upper section of this. Ooh. Don't move. Hey, it's Russell Tim. Did they say Russell Tim or Russell Two? If it's Russell Tim, why, why wasn't Tim part of his name? If it's Russell 2, where was the first Russell? Oh boy, I'm I'm gonna be devastated with whatever's at the end of this, and I don't I don't get it. Ooh, there's something on that flower over there. That can't be it. Is that it? There's another flower over there. Oop. Okay, there's a key here. Is there anything on this flower at all? Nope. That was a that was a disappointing end. All right, thief, your turn. Got him. Three, nice. <laughs> one on accident. Uh, one that was right around here. Russell two, Russell T. And uh, oh, there's gems up there. And uh, yeah, the thief one. Good so far. I hear a bee. I don't see a bee. So I'm wondering where it is. Cause the bee has a gem. That was mean. That was rude. That was rude and mean. Maybe they're just so far away. That I heard it from somewhere else. I mean, I went through all the trees. I didn't see a bee there. Oh, almost missed. this long hallway connects us to there's a whirlwind in the middle I wonder where that goes These bees are being kind of a pushover right now I guess going up is a uh, very, very easy compared to going down. Well, because right now I'm not seeing anything. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm afraid of the edge of this, uh, edge of this flower. Ooh, there's a red one. Hey, it's Swan. I love that first breath I missed. <laughs> I thought I was at the right angle. Whatever. I'm surprised I didn't try and run. You know, I should be thankful I didn't try and run. I would have. I would have lost it. Ooh, thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry I said that you were too small, level. The big area. Oh boy. <laughs> I saw that jump was not gonna fail. I don't know why I double tapped the uh, the flutter button. Didn't help my situation. 
I need a pig. Where's a pig? Anyone? Ooh, there's a lot of these over there. That completely missed the bee. There we go. Wait, what? There we go. Oh, I'm afraid of this rip talk right here. Oh, dodge that bullet. I thought I was I thought that was going to get hit by there. Okay. What are you doing standing around here? Yes, sir. Hello? Anything? We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip talks have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough. So you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seeds. <laughs> I love when they all have Bob in their name. Also, spitting. We haven't seen that in a while. Is there any rocks you're talking of? I don't see any right now. Oh, those rocks. Let's avoid going that way for now. We know what's over there. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hit that that laser. Whatever. Ooh, I see the green one. Okay, I'm without sparks currently. Oh no, oh no, my sa my safety net is gone. And there's no fodder around here. That's sad, for me. Oh. Ouch. Oh, perfect gong. Okay, who's the comedian? <laughs> I 100% panicked when I did not hit that last, I didn't hit that last vase and I panicked. And so I started flying. I was like, I'm just gonna go backwards. I'm gonna land on that tree trunk right there. But no, I hit the very edge of the of the honey waterfall and uh, died from it. Hey, I got sparks back though. <laughs> Look at these cool little fireflies right here. It's a shame they're only there. All right, well, banjo equals evil. So I know it's I know it's coming up. There's gonna be a rip talk up here with the guitar. Don't hit the side. I wonder how accurate the spitting is. We have done first person stuff, so it hasn't been like there's the end portal. It's been pretty simple. Also, I've only seen one portal. Hmm. Here's the end portal. I did it. Are you Warren, Bob? You did it. You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, I was going to keep that dragonfly as a pet, but them critters are just more troubles in their work. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi! Uh, Sparks? Do you actually say an English word? Why didn't it sound like you were buzzing there? Ooh, look at this, secret path. I was just about to say, where was the uh, the connection back to the beginning? It looked like there was one. Ooh, is this back to the beginning? Why are there two? Okay, there's there's the other portal right there. I see it. Well, I'm just wa I'm just walking down this way now. We got to go back to those beehives, though. 
that's where that's where some we missed some gems back there there's definitely some dragonflies around there I was afraid to look down. I felt I thought there was something underneath me, but I don't think there is, unless it's pain. All right, and whirlpool, uh, whirlpool, whirlwind activated here now too. Good. Okay, just for curiosity's sake, how are we doing? Seven hundred thirteen, so ninety-seven gems, eighty-seven gems. There's two more dragonflies around here somewhere. We, we saw one, and I think we get another one for finishing off the beehives and the reptox there. So let's just go backwards. Oh, also I missed that gem. Good. Good thing I turned around. Missing a red gem is just going to be the worst. I, I feel like I've, I'm going to do it at one point. If I haven't already. Didn't look like there was any gems back there, over by that door, wherever that door leads. At least from up here, I have the high ground, so I'll be able to see if I miss anything. For a little while, at least. Yeah, there's that green guy right there. Oh boy, why'd I, do, why'd I come at it from this angle? I love how I just flew right at the honey. I knew I knew what bad things I was gonna do, but for some reason I just didn't care. What was the zero for? Do I still have a rock in my mouth? I do not. Uh, what's going on here? Hello? Why do you keep up popping up? What am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to get the Reptox or am I supposed to get the 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 beads? Oop. Wanna am I being timed? I really hope I'm not being timed. Why would he ask me to do it again? If there's a timer, I hate that it immediately ends at zero. There better not be a timer that just starts and ends at zero. Zero. All right. Went nowhere with it. Hey, it's Gory. I need one more dragonfly in order for me to uh, be able to get access to the next world, so... This needs to go well. Oh no, I think I see what I need that uh, rock for. Oh no, never mind, that's the chest that we have a key for. Alright, so what's the... What? I Don't I have seven? I have all the gems. I do have seven. What's the purpose of the bees, then? Unless each of the other... Unless, like, the, the portal that's over there and the portal that's beyond the, the honeyfall, they only give me one dragonfly each. And this gives me a second dragonfly, or a separate one. Maybe I'm supposed to just, like, avoid? There we go. 
Just avoid the, uh, the bees and just make it all the way there. All the way where? I'm not sure. Okay, just immediately spawns in. Hmm. I'm actually curious as to what this does. Whoopsies. They don't drop gems. There's no rip ducks around here, so. Want to try to extermify them bee critters again? I don't understand what you're... What do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, I guess if I shoot the bees, they can just respawn. But if I shoot the hive... That did not work. Ouch. Ow, that hit me. Why are you moving? Why is this rock so hard to get in my mouth? Uh, hello? It. I don't have it still. There we go. Hmm. I can't think of anything right now. Okay, what? Hello? <laughs> How'd that work? I was pondering the beehives first. That didn't work. Do I have to hit the beehive, not the stem? Uh, if, if the only reason why the last one did get blown up is because... Oh, do I already have one in my mouth? Okay. Some of these I could probably get some good shots on without actually needing to get anywhere close to them. No, 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 no. Don't you dare respawn these. He didn't respawn them. Good. Boy, his press Y button thing is super far. Do I need to take care of the bees afterwards? Maybe a successful hit gets me another another rock. That one was affected by gravity, hello? That one started falling. Cool. I guess that worked. I don't believe it. You did it! I told you I could handle it. I wasn't born in the back country, you know. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. I sure enough do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. Cool. All right. I got eight dragonflies. Mmm. That seems like it's breaking a pattern a little bit. You know, every other level we've dealt with so far can give us seven without entering the secret stuff. This one can give us eight. Also, it 100% sounds like that machine's still going on. I don't know if they're supposed to make a sound effect after I break them, but this one is. 
All right. I don't know. I don't know what uh. I don't know what else to do. I guess we just leave. Well, we found all the treasure. We found eight dragonflies, which was one more than we needed. Which means we have access to... What's the next level? Thieves' Den? You have access to Thieves' Den. I wonder how the entire place is going to be, like, swarming with thieves. Am I going to be targeting the thieves, or, am I, or do the thieves have, like, an even worse enemy? That we luckily have never seen before. Unless it uses an enemy we've seen before. Well, I mean, we will be coming back to that level once again because the secret areas are going to be done in a separate episode. Oop. Yep. Ten dragonflies. There we go. Oh, boy. The book is acting up. Yeah, Honey Marsh, eight of ten. We have two more areas. We're at 70%. <laughs> I was right. What's going on with the book? I've, I've, I've done something to the book. This looks weird. I warped somewhere. I pressed B. Where am I warping to? <laughs> Where am I warping to? Why do I press B in the book? Every time. I feel like my cursor was over. I don't even remember what it was over now. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> Once I touch down, we'll just save the game. Where'd I go? Am I safe? I went to Luo Island. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Have some Luo Island music as we for the end slate. So, yeah, next episode, now that we have 56 dragonflies, we can head on to the next level, Thieves' Den, where we're going we're gonna to see how much we can do of that level. I can, I can only assume we're not going to get enough to get to the, the, the final level. Because we need 65 for that. We're, we're averaging 7, 8 dragonflies per normal run through. So we'll probably have to do another collectathon episode after that. And go back to like, I don't know, maybe go back to Crop Circle Country. Go back to Luo Island. Complete those two levels and we never have to come back to them again. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.